Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the video and listen to say with you regarding to 40 get topic. And this topic I will share with you uh, with the 40 s And I will share the configuration also the administration configuration on the 40 get. As you can see in the agenda, I have agenda one for platform concept, agenda two for operation mode of the firewall and agenda 3 is regarding to uh, initialize setup about the firewall what is the default setting and how we can set up uh, for lab also the, uh, when you get the new device and number four is device administrative for access to the firewall or we need to create the uh, admin profile or administrator user all right and number five is uh, basic networking such as uh, interface uh, configuration uh, the routing also the basic SD WAN as well and number six is the firewall policy so when it's not uh, we will talk about the source net and destination net and for number eight is the SL inspection yeah uh, we will talk about this as well as you know uh, current the traffic uh, mostly all of the uh, HTTP or HTTPS traffic mostly uh, uh, 95 percent across the Google report uh it is the encrypted so we need to talk about this topic as well before we go to security profile uh like antivirus configuration application control web filtering then filtering file filtering or intrusion prevention in the security profile and the last agenda is number 10 regarding to sl VPN for remote access yeah and today i will share with you uh platform concept and operation mode in the firewall first and we will uh, go to initialize and divide uh, administration in next video okay so now go to platform first make sure you guys understand uh, the 40 get uh, platform yes before uh, we go to initialize or, or do any like uh, basic networking or any security or uh, firewall policy right so we need to understand the platform concept first all right as you can see in the slide yes you can see the 40 yards subscription service as the mention it is the threat intelligence also the central line management right because uh, as you know normally the 40 guard have the 40 guard left for deliver the threat intelligence to all of the uh, their device the security device or any sensor that uh, 40 net uh, need to connect to the 40 guard threat intelligence Anyway, for 40 get, we also have the 40 get cloud, uh, 40 cloud, and another central line management such as 40 miniature or any related uh, central line management or fabric management center to manage uh, 40 get itself or also the another security uh, pub, uh, fabric, fabric interest uh, regarding to the 40 net product. All right, and all those threat intelligence or, or central line management need to make the relationship or we can say that uh, the 40 get yeah because this one is the study uh, focus on the 40 get right and our 40 get need to connect to the 40 get threat intelligence as you know or, or you can see in this uh, uh, I, I mean uh, this slide as well you can see the next gen firewall they have the sensor like antivirus uh, web filtering IPS application control yeah that require a package update or like worry to the threat intelligence for any real-time requirement or, 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 or a request to the threat intelligence for information all right and in place the integrated solution as you know the Fortinet company they are designed like you know a uh, security fabric in play right so the 40 client evp solution sandboxing for protect unknown or zero uh zero day malware yeah all those uh, solution can be integrated into the security fabric also we have the 40 web uh, web application firewall yes uh, we have the 40 mail uh, anti-spam protection yeah those device those solution can integrate to existing 40 get as you can see the 40 OS that we have that next gen AV, uh, antivirus, web filtering, uh, IPS, yeah, so any uh, other sensor that we can enable in the 40 get, yeah. And this integrated 
security fabric we need to connect to the forget subscription service based on your uh, requirement something like if we buy only the forget and we purchase only the UDM so this one is connect to the threat intelligence for only any sensor that we need uh, we need to connect to the uh, forget uh, uh, lab or forget uh, threat intelligence on the cloud and you can see the previous slide is about the relationship between uh, forget to the forget threat intelligence or central line management right anyway if you have the 40 manager uh, we know uh, for Brick Management Center, also the 40 analyzer for for uh, basic uh, shock security tool. Yeah, all those uh, central line management can be integrated to to Fortigate for deliver uh, Fortinet subscription service to uh, uh, Fortigate uh, at the brand. For example, in this uh, scenario, we can see the brand connect to the internet, connect to the Fortigate at the hub. And 40 manager provide a 40 gat lab or 40 gat cell intelligence through the 40 manager to all of the 40 gat. Okay, so uh, this scenario is good for uh, some brand or some organization that they need to, uh, I mean, uh, offline or, or, or allow 40 gat to the 40 manager only and let the 40 manager connect to the threat intelligence for update or like for any information that require from uh, 40, uh, 40, net, uh, 40 gat. Okay, so this is the platform that we need to understand about the Fortigate uh, relationship with the threat intelligence, uh, like the Fortigate lab or uh, Forty Miniature. If you, I mean, uh, if you uh, deploy with the offline or or you don't allow your Fortigate direct to the internet, right? So we can use the Forty Miniature for local uh, Forty Net uh, deliver subscription or Fortigate uh, threat intelligence. All right, and after that we go to the operation mode. Yes, like we talked in the previous discussion, we need to understand the operation mode of the firewall before we, uh, I mean, uh, deploy. Yes, and the operation mode of the forget. As you can see, we have two. Uh, one is the NAT mode, and another another one is the transparent. As you can see in the NAT mode, uh, the forget act as uh, layer 3 or you can you can say that in the OSI layer it is the layer 3 yeah uh, I mean the functionality right the router yeah pro to perform the routing and the requirement is that we need to assign an IP address to the interface that we need to route the packet or we need to read to another network all right similarly to the uh, Cisco router or router on the state right and also the packet will be forwarded by the IP, okay, following routing information and another uh, security or another uh, enforcement like policy route in the Fortigate. But uh, for, for simple, in NAT mode, the Fortigate firewall acts as the layer 3 router, okay. And in transparent, Fortigate will be uh, performed as a layer 2, similarly to the layer 2 switch. Yeah, or bridge. Yeah, uh, forget in between the Y connected each other. We don't need uh, to assign the IP address to those uh, interface for, I mean, uh, if we use the transparent mode, it is like the bridge or layer two switch only. And the packet cannot be routed because uh, we use like transparent, right? So we don't have any IP assign on the interface. Yeah, so we cannot route the traffic. Only forward or block, yeah. Uh, for 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 uh, transparent. Anyway, uh, NAT or transparent, it, I mean, uh, it depend on your requirement as well. For sometimes you need to use or uh, you need to choose a NAT or or a transparent based on your requirement. Okay, so make sure you understand. So make sure you understand the platform concept, also the mode operation like NAT or transparent before you uh, deploy or you configure. Uh, your fireball all right and next video we will go to the initialize setup about the uh, uh, 40 get all right see you next video thank you